Today, on a more excellent way, I'm going to talk with you about the concept of brain learning versus hand learning. It's important to know the difference between these two items as we learn new material. You might say, isn't learning learning? I don't think so. I think as we learn a new piece of music or a new skill, um, there's a difference between conceptualizing it in our brain and figuring out how to do it with our hand. And uh, I'd like to talk about that in terms of uh, learning a new piece of music. When you encounter a new piece of music, do you just try and learn the whole page all at once? And then uh, the next day, do you come back to the page and it's like you've never seen it before? And the next day you do the same thing, and the next day you do the same thing. At the end of the week, all the easy spots are in your fingers, but the hard spots have eluded you and you don't really know how to work on them yet. Well, I would like to introduce you to the idea of learning something completely, completely the first day and learning it in your head the first day. When I encounter a new piece of music, I learn as much as I can. Sometimes that's a half a page. Sometimes it's a whole page. Sometimes it's just a measure or two or a line. When I'm encountering new complex music, I have to break it down into component parts to intervals that I know, to shifts, um, hand orientations that I can manage. And by doing this, I learn it completely the first day. When I come back the second day, it's as if I don't have to do that work again. I've done that work and my hand is just learning it. So um, then my hand keeps doing the repetitions until this knowledge that's in my brain becomes in my hand. And I think this is a much, much faster way of learning music and more complete. If you learn it without sorting out the hand and brain continuum, then every day you're going to be starting from scratch or starting from just barely advanced from where you were the previous day. If you sort it out totally by brain in the first day, in the second day, you know exactly what to do when you get to this passage. It's just a matter of doing the right number of repetitions. So how long does brain learning take? One day, one day, if you do it right. Now, how much music can you absorb? We don't know. Depending on the complexity of the music, it might be a measure, it might be two measures, it might be four measures, but whatever you learn, learn completely in the first day in your brain. Succeeding days, when you come back to the passage, you'll just be doing the repetitions for your hand to appropriate this knowledge from your brain. How long does hand learning take? Depends. Depends on your skill, depends on your inventiveness, and it depends on your innate ability to um, play fast or stretch your hand or do those things. So uh, brain learning takes one day, hand learning takes however long it takes for you at that point of your career. Very important. Brain learn something the first day, you'll never, never, never regret it. Then your hand will just take however long it takes to finish the process, internalize in your hand that which is already in your brain. We've talked in a previous video about practicing prescriptions and how long things take to learn for your hands. And so if you refer to that video, kind of combine it with this one, you can get a good idea for how long it's going to take you to develop a certain passage. Um, and then if you attack the hardest passages for your hand first, then easier, then easier. Your whole piece gets done at the same time, kind of like dinner. Your dinner where you're making a salad at the same time you're baking a potato and then you might be um, cooking some protein. It's just kind of in the middle. Um, you want your whole piece to be done at the same time. So by using brain learning to sort out what's hard, what's medium, and what's not so hard in the piece, and then starting with the hardest stuff first, you can uh, prepare your pieces uh, to be ready all at the same time. I hope that you can use this idea of brain learning versus hand learning to get a better handle on a new piece of music that you're starting soon. And I hope that you can use it for the rest of your life. Remember, it's really important 
to learn completely in the first day. And then just let your hand follow what needs to be done after that. Happy practicing!